The look of this film tells a beautiful story. We will be forced to leave the colony in disgrace if we do not forgive these men. I will never forgive them. Cut really beautiful. Sarah and Luke combine their vision to create the world that you see on the screen. It was really important for me to imagine those landscapes and the canvas on which the story was going to be told. Action! Sarah and I looked at a lot of Larry Towell's photography early on. We realized that having a little bit of color would be very essential to this story. Everything about the film is kind of heightened in concept, and the photography needed to match that. We know that we've been attacked by men. We know that we must protect our children regardless. I was really interested in creating a color palette that gave the sense of a faded postcard of a world that had already passed, because the act of them having this conversation already consigns the world that they've been living to to the past. We could create the possibility of a new order right here. You're a dreamer. We're women without a voice. All we have are our dreams. The play with saturation was intended as a metaphor for what these women are in the process of deciding. Perhaps we need to understand more what it is we're fighting to achieve, not only what we're fighting to destroy. They're taking on monumental tasks. So there was a lot of pushing for that scale, that it wasn't so much about it being pretty, but it being epic. It was an epic story and it needed that kind of treatment. When we've liberated ourselves, we will have to ask ourselves who we are. be forced to leave the colony in disgrace if we do not forgive these men. I will never forgive them. Women Talking was the first thing I've wanted to direct in years. And action? From the beginning, Sarah said, I see this as epic. It's time for women's stories to be shot with a cinematic grandeur and beauty. We must decide now to stay and fight or leave. We will not do nothing. There was nothing more important than this conversation amongst women about how they were going to break down the world they lived in and create a new one. We have been preyed upon like animals. Maybe we should respond like animals. Cut. It was great. We'll do one more. She is such an honest filmmaker, and it was so moving to see Sarah's commitment to the story. 
everybody was there because they wanted to work with Sarah. She leads with kindness and compassion and understanding. She put so much energy into every crew member. Tell me when you're comfortable stopping. Her integrity was exactly what was needed to tell this story in a way that everybody could hear it. If God is a loving God, then why has he not protected the women and girls of this colony? What was most thrilling was this sense of everyone's ideas and everyone's experience coming to the table. When we've liberated ourselves, we will have to ask ourselves who we are. Why does love, the absence of love, the end of love, the need for love, result in so much violence? Miriam Teeves' book had this very profound impact on me. We must decide now to stay and fight or leave. We will not do nothing. It had such hard truths around reckoning and rage and faith and forgiveness. We will be forced to leave the colony if we don't forgive the men. I cannot forgive them. I will never forgive them. Women Talking is about a group of women who have dealt with assault by the males of their community, debating on what their future could be. I want to stay and fight. But won't we lose the fight to the men and be forced to forgive them anyway? Our first choice to write and direct was Sarah Polly, and there was no end to her commitment and courage. It was really important for me to imagine those landscapes and the canvas on which the story was going to be told. Sarah wanted to tell this story in a way that honored these women and their faith. Does entering the kingdom of heaven mean nothing to any of you? Surely there must be something worth living for in this life, not only the next. Miriam declares it an act of wild female imagination, which is what we wanted to do cinematically. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it was just so moving seeing these characters come to life. The dynamic between the actors was just powerful. We know that we are bruised and infected and pregnant and terrified. Miriam and Sarah built a story that is thought-provoking and unifying. It's gorgeous, it's haunting. There's a real sense of solidarity, of hope. Hope for the unknown is good is better than hatred of the familiar. We are living in a time where there's a lot we have to change. This film offers a window into what it looks like when people have to imagine another way forward. When we've liberated ourselves, we will have to ask ourselves who we are. <laughs> and cut. Really beautiful. We got it. Thank you. We have always forgiven those who have wronged us. Why not now? Because now we know better. The women in Women Talking have the responsibility to decide the future for the rest of the colony. The vote was tied between staying and fighting or leaving. Because of violent attacks by the men in the community, they worry not only for themselves, but more importantly for their children. We will be forced to leave the colony if we don't forgive the men. I cannot forgive them. I will never forgive them. I really love the relationships that they have between each other. This cast is a beautiful ensemble. Sarah cultivated such an amazing group of people. Action! It was a master class to watch all of these powerhouses. I want to stay and fight. But won't we lose the fight to the men and be forced to forgive them anyway? The support in the film was really remarkable. I want to help, and I don't know how. We have been preyed upon like animals. Maybe we should respond like animals. We know that we've not imagined these attacks. There was this enormous collective push to feel connected to each other. Everyone had each other's backs, and we were all telling this story together. This colony is the only home I've ever known. It was such an intense film to be a part of, but we laughed an awful lot. <laughs> we could do 150 takes on one scene, 
And no matter who the camera was on, everybody gave their heart to each other. Whenever we had to laugh, all the other actors would be doing things behind the camera to help us keep going. <laughs> I can't imagine doing this film with a different group of women. Hope for the unknown is good. It is better than hatred of the familiar. We just got through it together. I was so proud of everybody on this film, and I don't think I'll ever have an experience like it again. We must decide now to stay and fight or leave. We will not do nothing.